All right, in this video, I'm going to do a step by step and show you how you can gradiate your colors. I'm using a large glaze brush and I'm using China Seas. It's a semi transparent. Remember that you want to use the largest brush for your large areas, and then as you need smaller areas to be glazed, then you use the smaller brushes. The other thing you need to remember is that you want to glaze the bottom as well. The bottom will be put on stilts so that it doesn't touch the kiln shelf. I've poured the inside and now I'm in the process of cleaning up and making sure there's no large clumps of glaze. Because this piece is both thrown on the wheel and hand built, I've got to go in and clean out some of the areas where the glaze is uh, too thick. Once I've done that, then I'll have to put on a second coat. So even on the inside of my vase, I have to have two coats. You want to make sure that when you're glazing that you let the coat dry in between. If you're in a hurry or a rush, then use a hair dryer. But if you put two coats on while they're wet, then it's basically wipe on and wipe off. All right, now I'm pouring out my color palette. I'm using the aluminum foil, which you can use at any time. I'm putting in a dark blue green, a blue, a light blue, and then two greens. All of these colors are either semi-transparent or sheer. If you want bolder colors, then the primer that you put underneath also needs to be a more solid color. So I'm using the sponge and I'm tapping around. I'm, bl I'm blotting it on the aluminum foil as well so that I don't want to just, when I'm using the sponge, I want a nice soft feathered look. I don't want a blob. So you can see I'm tapping off onto the aluminum foil every once in a while so that the glaze isn't too thick on the sponge. Again, I'm going to have to go through this process twice. So I've got to make sure that I have an understanding of the color layout before I start glazing. All right, now I'm going to start in with the second color. As I start applying the second color, I want to make sure that I'm overlapping the first color. So all I've done is just turn the sponge to a different spot. And now I'm applying the blue on top of the blue green. Again, tapping it off onto the aluminum foil helps so that then that way you are uh, applying a feathered look and not getting a blob of glaze. But like I said before, I will have to go through this process twice. So now I'm applying the lighter color and the lighter color is overlapping. The lighter blue is overlapping the darker blue right now. And you can kind of see the change happening right on top. One thing I did decide as I was glazing, I didn't like that I stopped kind of where the piece is halfway with the blues. So when I came back on my second coat, I raised the blues up. I kept the blue green about where it is, but I took the blue bands and I made them wider so that they went into the handmade part as well. Again, when you're sponging, tap off so that you're not just blobbing it. And I had already poured inside the dark blue green, so I had enough coats on the inside as well. 